welcome back. I'm Dai, and today I'm sharing my thoughts with you on the manga series Ghost Hunt. This was done by Shiho Inada, and it was adapted from the light novel done by Fuyumi Ono. This is an 11 volume series that was published by Del Rey, and it is rated teen, I believe. I can't remember <laughs> for sure, but I would think that it would be rated teen. This series follows a team of investigators from the Shibuya Psychic Research Group as they investigate supernatural mysteries. Each volume covers between one and two different paranormal cases. And at the beginning of this series, we meet Mai, who is a 17, I think, year old student. And the Shibuya Psychic Research Group comes to her school to investigate um, some paranormal happenings on campus and Mai goes into one of the buildings that they have set up their cameras in and she, as she gets closer to the camera some things in the room start to fall down and the camera gets destroyed. One of the employees from the Shibuya Psychic Research Group gets injured trying to save Mai from the collapse. So not only is the research group down a camera, but they're also down an employee. Mai gets persuaded by the head of the Shibuya Psychic Research Group, whose name is Kazuya Shibuya, to take the injured employee's place in this investigation. So that's kind of how she joins the team. Each volume in this series covers between one and two investigations. Sometimes the investigation carries over between volumes. I had mentioned at the beginning of this video that the series is 11 volumes long. That's 11 volumes in English. 11 volumes were published in English. The series is actually 12 volumes long. In volume 10, we're kind of going into the final cases. At the beginning of volume 10, there's something mysterious going on. It's not necessarily a case, but there's definitely a mystery behind it. And then the team gets pulled into another investigation close by. That case is being investigated over volumes 10 and 11, but the mystery at the beginning of the 10th volume is never mentioned after they start investigating the final case that is being portrayed in these last couple volumes. I believe that that does get its full investigation in the 12th volume, which was never released in English. That being said, I am pretty satisfied with where this series ended. I don't feel like I really need to know what happened in that last volume, though it would definitely have been most appreciated. I did enjoy this series as a whole. The investigations were very interesting. One of the cases that they investigate deals with a house that is very similar to the Winchester house and my daughter and I have been watching some documentaries and investigations into the Winchester Mystery House recently so that case came rather well timed. The Shibuya Psychic Research Group not only consists of paranormal investigators like you would see in a show like ghost hunters or ghost adventures or um, or even like supernatural the team actually consists of not only an electronics technician but a priestess a monk a I think they call him a bishop or a pastor and then you have Mai who's seemingly just a normal teenager and they all come together to not only investigate these occurrences but there are times where 
each individual's specific gifts are needed to either exercise the spirit or put it at rest. This series is sadly out of print and it's very hard to find volumes to purchase. However, I was very fortunate that my library had the entire series to borrow. That being said, I did follow up my read of this series by watching the anime adaptation. And I am happy to say that the anime adaptation follows the volumes and the cases very closely. So if you're unable to find volumes of this series to read, definitely check out the anime adaptation because you won't be missing much, if anything at all. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about the anime. I ended up watching it on Funimation. I watched it dubbed as opposed to subbed because I wanted to work on my daughter's socks. I was knitting her a pair of socks um, while we were watching it and I can't knit and read subtitles at the same time. So dub it was. It was kind of hilarious because the dub cast has a lot of characters that voice characters in the series fairy tale. So it was a little bit strange seeing the different characters with the same voices. (laughs) But nonetheless, I think they did a great job. I'm very happy with the way the anime was presented. The opening and ending themes were kind of retro in feel. It's not like an actual like song. It's an instrumental, which is very different from most animes that I watch, though the instrumental itself was very appropriate for the type of um, series that this is. This is a 25 episode anime and the series goes from the cases that are portrayed in the manga from volumes 1 through volume 9. So that last case that I was talking about that is portrayed in volumes 10 and 11 is not even touched on. You get a better or more solid ending with the anime. And I think if you're the type of person that is going to be bothered by knowing there's more, but you can't ever like experience it, I would think the anime would be a better bet for you because I definitely feel like I'm missing out on something even though I'm okay with where the manga series ended. So hopefully, one of the publishers will re-release this series because it really is a good one. There's not many series out there that are like this, that tell this type of story. And I just think it was so interesting. It was perfect. Um, for the season because I read it in October. I actually read this the last half of this series for the Manga Freakathon. And like I said, we were watching documentaries and investigations into the Winchester Mystery House, which correlated nicely with the case that happened in this series. We were also watching episodes of Ghost Hunters and BuzzFeed Unsolved the Supernatural episodes. And it was just a perfect read for not only the season, but for what I was interested in reading at the time. I do hope more of you get the opportunity to either check out the manga series or the anime. Like I said, the anime follows the manga very closely and I don't think you'll be disappointed if you're unable to read the manga after seeing the anime. So let me know if you've either read this series already or are interested in it, have watched the anime, or are interested in it, because I'd love to talk to you more about what happened in this series or individual cases. If you have already experienced this series, let me know what your favorite case was. I think the one for me that was similar to the Winchester Mystery House was definitely a favorite. It's one that sticks out in my mind quite a bit. 
I do hope that another publisher picks up this series and re-releases it in its entirety because it was an entertaining series and I'd love for more of you to be able to experience it. That's all I've got for you today. I hope you're all doing great. And until next time, take care and smile always. Bye.